Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, often with travel, beach, or hygge themes. I also do a little bit of stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, and even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And as always, if you're already subscribed, thanks again so much for being here and welcome back. Today I have an awesome quarterly lifestyle box called Quaint Box, and this is often hygge inspired. In case you don't know what hygge is, it is the Danish concept of coziness that is often associated with the fall and winter seasons, but it's definitely something that you can incorporate into your life throughout the year. This box is $44.99 per quarter, but if you use my code HiNoel15, you can save 15% on your first box. One of the things that I love about this box is she does a different box design every season, and this one definitely has those cozy winter vibes to it. So let's go ahead and get into it and see what we've got. So right inside we have some nice uh, snowflake tissue paper and then she usually does like these really fun quote stickers. So this one says, winter is the time for comfort, for good food and warmth, for cozy talk beside the fire. It is the time to celebrate home by Edith Sitwell, is that who said those beautiful words. Let's go ahead and get on into it and see. So right inside I'm seeing a bunch of cozy things kind of nestled in here and we'll take a look at what we've got. Now I'm not seeing a product card. I think in the past she's just had like a little like note card But it didn't give us a lot of detail about the actual items or the retail values Which you guys know I do appreciate when those are included But I think most of the items are probably pretty self-explanatory and who knows maybe there's a product card kind of hidden in here It's just not right on top where I see it right away So this first item is something that I love getting in subscription boxes and it's those little patches that you put under your eye These are by beauty kitchen. It says ice water under eye collagen mask cool and soothe and you just kind of put them under your eyes for like 10 to 15 minutes and it just kind of like helps like refresh your face a little bit so I really enjoy using these because they're so easy and you don't have to worry about kind of lining up the eye holes like you do with a full sheet mask it's a little like less committal in terms of time and ease so happy to have those great little beauty items to have on hand uh, the next item I am seeing you guys is something that if you've been watching my channel throughout the year you know that I generally don't like a lot of socks because I don't usually wear like regular socks around the house or like wear shoes outside of the house that require socks but I have come to really enjoy some like fuzzy slipper socks because we do have mostly hardware hardwood floors in our house. Um, these ones are like covered in foozle dust or paper shred dust, so I'll have to like get rid of that later. But these are by Nalia. They are plush Sherpa slipper socks with a non-skid sole and look how awesome they look, you guys. So they do have those little like nubbies on the bottom so you don't go sliding across the floor. I love that it's in a nice simple gray stripe. And then we've just got that like uh, Sherpa lining kind of peeking out the top, that nice kind of sheepskin look. So these are gonna be great. I have two pairs that I've been kind of rotating through throughout these colder months um, that I got also from subscription boxes and so I'm so excited to add these and it's kind of fun this is like a blend of the two I have one pair that's like gray and fuzzy with little like um, pom-poms on it and then I also have a pair that is just like all in beige so it's kind of like a combo of the two so now I have a nice array and again very like neutral goes great with your yoga pants whatever you're wearing so I'm really excited about these actually even though it's already January and hopefully it starts to warm up here in San Diego pretty soon but I actually don't mind the colder months especially since most of the time we're staying indoors anyway it might as well be nice and cozy so that's a cute item the next item I am seeing looks like an edible indoor Indulgence, and that is uh, it's some drinking chocolate you guys so while well, I have a ton of hot cocoa that I've gotten in subscription boxes I have to be better I still haven't gotten better about actually indulging in it and getting it all prepped I always have to like remember to pick up like milk or like a milk substitute at the store because I just feel like when you make hot chocolate a lot of the mixes you can totally use water but it's just so much richer and better if you do it with something that's like more like dairy like so this is vanilla orange drinking chocolate and it just says flying bird botanicals but it came in this really pretty little tin um, I was worried it was tea because you guys know I have an abundance of tea too so I'm really excited that I have a lot of hot chocolate in my tea cabinet right now it says a splash of citrus and sweet vanilla bean combined for a festive cup of cocoa so that looks really really good um, I'm not gonna open it up right now because like I said I got a lot of hot cup 
Coco going, but I will definitely report back once I do. But I just think this is really like classy. You could definitely have it out on your counter as a reminder to actually make your hot cocoa. And it's really pretty. So, and I actually think vanilla orange, like that hint of orange with chocolate. I'm somebody who does actually like a little bit of fruit flavoring with chocolate just because I like chocolate in any way, shape or form. So, you know, like I like chocolate covered strawberries. Like I know some people are like, I don't like that at all because I don't like any uh, fruit with chocolate. I, I It's personal taste, but I am very equal opportunity when it comes to chocolate. Uh, looks like we got a candle, which I think is a very important in a lifestyle box. Not all the time, of course, but definitely when you're trying to uh, invoke those Hugo vibes, I think a little like nice soft light is always good, especially if it's nice fragranced light. So this says Tool Fog, um, Amber and Cedar, and it's, I think I've actually gotten a reed diffuser in this same scent, maybe from Saltwater and Sand a while ago. So let me see if I can smell it. I'm excited. Yeah. Oh, this is actually much sweeter. The, uh, the amber and cedar is like smells more like there's definitely like almost like a sugary like undertone to it, which is not bad. Um, I love amber and cedar as scents, but I don't mind this hint of sweetness. I can get a little bit more of the cedar now on that second sniff. I'm still not getting a ton of the amber, but I think it'll smell awesome once you start to burn it. So it's a nice little little jar candle, which is cute. And I like when they're like nice and simple. And it's also kind of nice when they're, I like love getting a huge candle, you know, especially if it comes in a gorgeous container, but I also like being able to like change it up. So a candle that lasts me like a few days, like a week is perfect as well. All right, we've got some more stuff. Ooh, you guys, we got some fairy lights. So speaking of making things feel cozy and bright, we got a silver wire light strand. It's three meters in length so you guys I'll definitely take some photos over on Instagram although you don't get the full effect when it's not like dark outside yet when I take the photos but I'm really excited I actually needed I get all kinds of like strand lights in different boxes but I just needed like a plain one that didn't have like you know fancy lanterns or something on it so this is really nice and it's great because you just use two AA batteries and you don't have to have like a wall plug for it and you can like put them in like glass jars that's like a great easy home decor thing you can kind of like put them along like your mantle like I always do that behind all the Christmas cards of course all the Christmas cards have been taken down now but this is by Lisa Angel and I'm super excited for this like really nice um kind of almost basic like home decor item that you definitely can always find use for it looks great in like bookshelves so really excited about that item as well let me just double check and make sure there's not anything there's one more item in here so it looks like we got a total of six items and it is some bath tea or bath salt, which you guys know I'm not necessarily a bath girl, although I totally get how in a Huga inspired box, you're gonna get like something that really creates that relaxing, comforting situation. These are really pretty though. It's, uh, ooh, basil mint. That sounds awesome. I know you guys have been suggesting for a long time that I go ahead and do a nice foot soak with some of these bath salts. Um, and I just haven't had the time to go and find the right tub that I, also I need a place to be able to store the tub once I'm done soaking my feet um, but I can also like sprinkle these along the shower floor I know but I, I feel like that's almost a waste especially when I do have so many friends that really do enjoy their baths so but basil mint that sounds like an awesome like cocktail to me um, so this is really cute you can kind of see all of the little speckles of all the stuff that's gonna smell good in there and this is a nice flat package that I can definitely send to someone else or maybe put in one of my future giveaways for one of you guys but overall definitely got some great great cozy winter vibes out of this box let me just double check one more time to make sure there is no product card at all this time which is a little bit surprising to me usually like a, there's like a little paragraph that kind of gives you spoilers about the things and I do think that's a really nice uh, thing just to know about the products but also the companies the vendors that are contributing to any given box so uh, this box was sent to me for review so there's a possibility that for some reason I didn't get that or again like I said most of the products in here were pretty self-explanatory let's just go over all of them one more time from the beginning so we got these awesome under eye little patches which I love always a great little item we got the vanilla orange drinking chocolate which I feel like it sounds fancier when you say drinking chocolate instead of just like hot cocoa we got these amazing slipper socks that have to be defoozled but this is probably my favorite item in the box and I will definitely get some use out of them we got two elements of light 
light this beautiful tulle fog candle in amber and cedar and then these cute little um, fairy lights three meters I'm gonna be creative with these and then finally rounding everything out to help us have a nice relaxing evening we got this basil mint herbal bath tea so let me know in the comments below you guys what your favorite item was how you create those cozy scenes those cozy moments in your own house I'd love to hear if you enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up and hopefully I see you all very very soon in my next unboxing